A legendary judoka does not have to be an Olympic champion or medalist. And this rule applies to many legendary judokas, for example, Georgi Zentaraya, Yasuyuki Muneta or Joshiro Maruyama. So, today's hero perfectly complements this list. The Japanese machine of one-handed throws and front kicks is Suichi Hashimoto. This is a judoka with a unique style of wrestling, a style that no one has ever repeated. There are only a few like him for centuries. We began our review of his career in 2015. Then at the Grand Prix tournament in China, our hero showed very good form and beautiful judo. Spectacle and dominance is the Hashimoto of those times. Back then in China, our hero was aiming for his first medal from the World Series tournaments. Right now on your screens is the Hashimoto judo that I fell in love with perhaps at first sight. It's the crowning back with a sleeve grab or a single sleeve grab, throwing with one arm and quickly and effectively, that's the unique style of Hashimoto. The same style as the late Toshihiko Koga head. As a result, Soichi Hashimoto reached the final against Rustam Orijov, whom he threw with a powerful overhand throw. Note the complete control in the execution of the throw, Hashimoto's first gold medal from the World Series tournaments. Then in the same year, our hero confidently won his first Masters tournament, but now we will move to Paris 2017 for the Grand Slam tournament. The first Grand Slam in Paris for our hero. More than 10,000 fans gathered in the arena and gave due support to each athlete, seeing off their every technical action with applause. Hashimoto was charged to the max, and in this particular tournament, you can see his crowning throws for one hand. So many times in a row he threw his opponents regardless of their status or regalia. The true beauty of judo wrestling. Then in Paris, Soichi Hashimoto was able to defeat both the host of the tournament Frenchman, Haidia Tejiro from Azerbaijan, and the very unpredictable Tohur Batbol from Israel. Hashimoto advanced to the final where he was to face in Chang Rim of Korea. Their confrontation would end up being a classic. In the end, the Japanese was able to defeat the Korean and take the first medal from the prestigious Paris Grand Slam 2017 tournament. And then finally the World Judo Championships, which was held in Budapest in 2017. Hashimoto is in perfect form. I want to tell you that from April 2016 to September 2017, our hero has never lost and had only first places in all tournaments. But even this was not enough to go to the Olympics, which went to the famous Ono Shohei. Nevertheless, Hashimoto came into this world championship in great shape. He defeated all of his opponents along the way with various techniques. In the quarterfinals, he was able to defeat judo legend Lasha Shevdachuashvili by Shido. And in the semifinals, he met again with Hyderiet Hedorov and confidently defeated him. And he did it with one hand, in his own style, Sodsurikamigoshi, Ipon. And he is in the final. Another Azerbaijani Rustam Orijov was waiting for him in the final. This time Hashimoto gets a unilateral takedown, allowing him to produce a front foot takedown in a fall on Ipon and become the 2017 world champion. Great timing for the Japanese, and one of the best physical performances of his career. Total domination. The same year, a few months later was the Tokyo Grand Slam, the most prestigious event for all Japanese judokas. Recently received a red patch, Hashimoto is one of the favorites of this tournament. In the first bout, he confidently defeated the Czech with a full for throws on Wazari. Yes, at that time Wazari's scores were more than two. Then he reached the semifinals, where he sensationally lost to Aratatsu Koa, not the first number of his national team, who later became the champion of this tournament. But Hashimoto went to fight for the bronze medal against a Mongolian, whom he confidently defeated upon. And as a result, our hero became the third at the Tokyo Grand Slam 2017. And the last tournament of 2017 was the Master Tournament, which was held in St. Petersburg. Then in the first meeting the Japanese took apart the host of the tournament Danis Yartsev. First, by throwing him with a back foot on Wazari, and then literally finishing him off with a Sotsurikamigoshi throw on Ippon. And look at how quickly and efficiently he threw his opponent with one hand, 
and it came out for a pawn, one of the best pawns of Hashimoto's career. Then on his way to the finals, he managed to defeat Heidi at Haderov again for the umpteenth time in his career, whom he also ruthlessly threw one-handed and earned a wasari. In the final Soichi Hashimoto fought against the legendary Lasha Shevdachuashvili. He too was able to defeat him with a single wasari and Osotogari throw. The master's gold medal went to Hashimoto, and we can summarize by saying that 2017 is the best year in the career of our hero. At the beginning of 2018, Hashimoto traveled to China for a Grand Prix tournament. Being a world champion and in pretty good shape, I saw him as a favorite for gold. He also classically showed a variety of techniques in this tournament as well. In the semi-finals, our hero was able to show a very beautiful front foot on Nippon against German Anthony Zink. It is safe to say that Hashimoto is a true master of both the back throw and the front trip. And here it is, the final, seemingly not such a prestigious tournament, but a very eminent final for gold against Encheng Rim. Encheng Rim goes to the back. Hashimoto tries to stop him, and it turns out that the Japanese fall to the ground. In the end, Encheng Rim emerges victorious from this encounter, while the Japanese settle for silver and a final smile. The turning point in Suichi Hashimoto's career is the 2018 World Championships in Baku. At stake is the defense of the title. Our hero is in great shape and has no problem beating opponents with his crowning throws. But here is that fateful moment, the semi-final, and again against Haderov, and again he beats him with a pawn, with the same technique as always. But eventually in this episode, as you can see, Hashimoto hits his head very hard on the tatami. He suffers a serious injury to his eye. His right eye is blinded almost completely. The Japanese men couldn't see with that eye at all. So Hashimoto enters the finals literally struggling with one eye. In the battle for the gold medal, it was in Chang Rim. And unfortunately, our hero loses to the Korean and loses his title. Was it because of an injury? I think so. He fought with literally one eye, and it was very hard. The injury was only a few hours before this final. But the bottom line is what it is. Hashimoto becomes the 2018 World Vice Champion. Two thousand and nineteen and February's Grand Slam tournament, which was held in Paris. Hashimoto has already fixed his eye, and you could say recovered. Our hero loves this tournament and fights in it quite often, although he lost his world title. I saw him as the favorite of this tournament, although the competition was very high. And Hashimoto shows truly top-notch wrestling, dropping his opponents one by one. Quality and effective judo, as a result. The Japanese went to the final against Sendo Kier from Mongolia, again defeating Haderov from Azerbaijan on his way. First in the final, Hashimoto manages to earn a rather unusual Wazari counterpunch against the Mongolian, and then the Japanese performs his crowning front foot in a fall and leaves no chance to the representative of Mongolia. Once again in his career, Hashimoto breaks the applause of Akur Arena and gets the gold medal. I think he should be pleased with himself after his disappointing defeat at the World Championships. 2021 World Championships in Budapest After a crazy pandemic period, Big Judo is back. And finally, here it is, the World Championship. This tournament was before the Olympics so the competition was not too high. I was 100% sure Soichi Hashimoto would take the gold. Our hero defeats all his opponents quite confidently and reaches the semi-final stage of the competition, where he sensationally lost to Sweden's Tommy Macias. And so the Japanese go to fight for bronze, and again against his old comrade Haderov. This time our hero defeats the Azerbaijani with a rather unusual hold on Ippon, and takes another world championship medal in his career. 2022 World Championships in Tashkent. Soichi Hashimoto, already in the status of a veteran again flies to conquer the world. This time in the preliminary rounds he received a severe dissection, but this does not prevent him from reaching the final, defeating the strongest opponents on his way. In the finals, he fought against Sendo Kier from Mongolia. Eventually in the gold scoring, Hashimoto himself makes a mistake and falls to a wazari, and for the second time in his career. He took home the silver medal from the World Championships. One thing is for sure, this judoka is very unlucky. Two golds from the World Championships. 
he missed literally because of coincidence. We come to the final stage of our video, the 2020 to Tokyo Grand Slam. You just take a look at this throw, the front foot on Ippon. The stands are absolutely thrilled. One of the best upon 2022 in my opinion. The throw was made at golden score. Hashimoto gathered all his strength in this hold and threw his opponent with confidence. As a result, he advanced to the finals where the son of the legendary Toshihiko Koga, Koga Hayato, was waiting for him. At the golden score, our hero throws his opponent and takes the gold of the most important Tokyo Grand Slam. Ono Shohei has already finished his career, so the question arises, will Hashimoto be able to qualify for the Olympic Games in Paris and take his long-awaited medal? I'll be watching and rooting for him as he chases his long-cherished dream. Thank you all for watching. This was a true Japanese beast of a Nippon, Soichi Hashimoto, and his beautiful backstroke and front foot throws.